Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be doing a flounder catch cook for you guys. Today my setup is going to be a weight to one of these gulf worms. These sandworms we got at the store. And stay tuned for the cook and the catch. Alright guys, so I'm going to show how easy it is to catch a flounder out here. Just going to drop down. We're at about 40 feet of water. We are fishing sand bottom, which is what you want to look for for flounder. So now that I hit bottom, I'm just going to do a light bounce of the weight on bottom. Ooh, I'm getting big. Back, back to bottom. There we go. Oh. Another one. Just nice little jigs on bottom. Just like that, hooked up on the first one of the day. It's not very big, so it's probably gonna get released, but it's a nice little flounder. <laughs> Nate's hooked up with the first one of the day. Let's see if there's any size to it. Nate's using a herring, and I'm going to be using some little rubber worms we have. It's not a bad size one. Let's see. Well, first flounder of the day for Nate. Doesn't look like it has any worms. <laughs> you want to go ahead and keep this one? Yeah, we can keep it for now. We have a little live well, so we may keep them alive and see if we get a better one. Got stripped on the last go, so I got a rebait here. Yeah, see if that works. There we go. Doubled up. Oh, bunker. That's a pretty good one. Looks worm free. Looks worm free to me. It's another worm free one. Double. Cheers. Keep in mind, maybe it's a little bigger. Yeah. We got two guys. Doubled up at the same time. Where are Probably going to keep Blake's because it's a little bigger and cleaner. Well guys, caught an unexpected thing that we're gonna be eating tonight, kelp greenling. Probably one of my favorite fish that we get out here in the sound, so get the hook out and throw her in the bin. Hooked up again. You got a double going. Floundy. Well, that's a pretty good one. Two good looking flounder. Let's see if we wanna keep any of them. Mm. Maybe yours, but it's kind no, of. No, it's got a worm in it. All it's right, I'm gonna throw them, throw them both back. We'll throw them both back. It's really small. Oh, really small flounder. <laughs> Baby. Definitely gonna toss this one back. Lake's hooked up again. Just got our second kelp greenling of the day. So this thing's gonna fry up nice. And we're gonna add it to the bin. Nice light jigs on bottom like this. So you can kind of feel them hit. It's a very subtle hit, but once you set the hook in them, they fight pretty hard.
There we go, that's a good one too. A little bigger. Get another nice one on. I think it's a flounder. Hopefully it's a cup green. A little flounder. That one's gonna be going back. Picked up on a bit of a bigger flounder or something. Oh, it's a big flounder. Big papa. Looks like it's clean too. Probably let it go, but because we got enough fish now, but still fun to catch. It's hooked up on a good one. Sure, bending his rod. Oh, there we go. Double. It's a good looking flounder. Keeper? Mm. Oh, she got eaten by something. Look at that bite mark out of it. Wait, no. Comment down below what you guys think that's from. We got our flounder and kelp greenling, and now we're going to see you in the kitchen. All right, guys, we made it back to the kitchen now. Uh, we're gonna go with real traditional fish and chips, so we're gonna cut up some potatoes as well, and then we're gonna put those in the oven and fry them up just the same as the fish. We'll probably do a little light seasoning with our Cajun as well. Well, Nate's finished cutting up the potatoes. We put a little salt on them as well as the Cajun seasoning, so now we're gonna plop them in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes. All right, guys. We got our Cajun bread in here. We have our fish, two different kinds, green lean and flounder. We're just gonna take one, put it in the bag. Should probably fit all of them in there. Bunch of fillets there. Then maybe we add a little more on top. Very simple too. Seal our bag up, we're bulging up the seams. And just like that, it's ready for the pan. Alright guys, now we're going to place it in the pan. We want about two minutes on each side. We definitely don't want to overcook this stuff though. It's been about two minutes, so we're gonna start flipping them. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, you know I mean? All right, I'm gonna go in for the first piece here. It's nice and crispy, as you can see. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna try it. Tastes like fish and chips, and there's a little bit of the spice from the Cajun on the end there. Yep, we got some spicy french fries, spicy fish and chips, and we're gonna I'll be feasting. I'll give a french fry a go. Get a little ketchup. Tastes like a french fry. Hmm. Got the lemonade too. It's pretty good. I wish I could differentiate the difference between the two though. All right, guys, that's going to conclude our video. We're going to stop the video and eat up on this lovely feast we have here. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and...
like to do videos like this for you guys, so make sure you support us.